Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is move-in day. I'm so excited. We recently moved to Melbourne, but we uh, we were still waiting for our house. So we've been here for about a week and a half and today we actually get the keys to our house and we get to move in. We get a delivery of we get a new bed, a super nice king size koala bed, as well as we got a brand new washing machine and a fridge, which I didn't think would make me so excited, but I'm pretty stoked. So the delivering everything today, my partner is just out grabbing a desk off of the marketplace so he can set up his office and his little gaming station. Ah. I'm so excited to start getting this all together. I'm just about to make a coffee, but then after I make a coffee, we will pick up the keys and I will keep you guys posted. I'm excited. Too much milk. I'm just about to go. I have got my uh, lime latte or coffee. Beautiful, majestic. So I'm gonna go get them and then I'm gonna go into the house and we're gonna wait for deliveries, which is really exciting. This is the first time my partner and I are living in a house which is unfurnished and we're not living with anybody, so we're starting literally from scratch and I'm so excited. We've bought a washing machine, a bed, and a fridge, and I have never been more excited to set it up. There is a cute puppy on the road. I'm late already. I was meant to be there at nine. It's all gonna arrive at 9.15, but that's okay. That's okay, I need to make a coffee for you guys, you know? Guess what I got? Hear that? That's our independence calling. That was a terrible joke. I don't care, because we're living alone. I'm gonna go, actually, should I park around our house? No, I'll stay here. Yeah, the unloading people come in. I'm just gonna reverse a little bit. But yeah, I just needed to go in the shade to get some light, but we're moving in! I know, I know you guys aren't as excited as I am, but like, holy, I am stoked. Okay. Okay, love you, bye. I literally just opened this box and look how many keys there are. How am I supposed to figure out which key is to open the front door? Oh my God. What do I do? Rob's busy. Rob's trying to pick a chair and it's not loading when he's sending me photos and he just tried to video call me and it's also not working. You actually wouldn't believe me if I told you this, but this is the first key that I tried and it worked. This is the first time I'm actually seeing this house because Rob did the inspection and the photos on the actual, um, on the listing were from the house that was like connected to this one, not actually this one. So let's have a look. <laughs> this is at the front door, super green, love that. Ooh. Holy closet space. That's so good. It's actually like deep in there, like I could fit in here. Does this count as a walk-in closet? I mean, if you walk in, is it a walk-in closet? Or is it just a big closet? Oh, somebody's been looking through the drawers. That's amazing. So this is one of the washrooms. This is, I guess, the one on the bottom floor. I don't know if this is the only one on the bottom floor. Cute, cute. Look at all the space I have for all the unnecessary things. We have one more bedroom. This view is not very pretty, but I mean, at least I can see my laundry dry. Without actually seeing the house, Rob and I were trying to decide which, sorry if the acoustics are really bad in here. Um, Rob and I were trying to decide which, like which room we wanted to be our bedroom. And I originally was saying the front room to make it the office, just because, you know, it's like facing the street. And if I wake up and I want to change in the morning, I don't want to be like, hello neighbors, I'm naked. You know, I don't want that. But now looking at the closet and the, window do i really want this is my bedroom window shit we need to discuss that a little bit more all right and now we're going to okay sorry if i'm like super hyper i'm i a i just had a coffee and b i'm really excited 
And see, this is the first time I've moved away from home like years ago. And this is for the first time that I'm actually like living independently. It's a cute little meshy thing to make me feel like I'm not gonna fall down the stairs. Let me come up. Get some light in here. Maybe the power's not connected yet, or maybe that's not the right light. Nope, power's not connected yet, but that's cool. So we come upstairs. This is our lovely little kitchen. I don't understand, I guess maybe they were cleaning. So all the cabinets, oh my God, so much space for food. Little kitchen island and Ooh, is this a balcony? Oh, it is. Oh. Oh, I need the other key for that. Damn it. So, like, these are where the stairs are. That's a little kitchen. You come this way. It's meant to be a little, like, living space with a TV stand. It's cute. It's nice that we don't have to buy anything. And I think that this is a... another toilet with an extra door. Ooh. What is this facing? Oh, see, right there, that little that little car in that house there. That's our friend's house. So far, we have a, a fridge. I'm looking at this, it's quite short. I don't know if our fridge is gonna fit, I don't <laughs> I think so. I think we measured it properly and it should fit, but like, that looks kind of short. Maybe not, maybe I'm tricking myself. I'm gonna go find the keys for everything. I need to like label everything. This is ridiculous, the amount of keys that they gave us. I'm gonna go check on Murphy, make sure he's all good and try and unlock all these doors. Couldn't have labeled them or shown me a picture of what they all are. Murphy! Hi! Murphy, what are you doing? Hi! Have you been waiting for us? Yeah? Yeah? Oh, yeah, I'm so excited, but I don't want to let you in our house because you molt like crazy at the moment. I'm just gonna go to the toilet and then we'll go take you for a W A L K later because I can't say the word. This is proving to be rather difficult to film by yourself and move in and wait for things because you need to be like attentive everywhere. So the washing machine we're just going here. Yep. I think it comes in like four pieces. Rob's setting up his office. We've got a few things in here and they just moved the fridge upstairs. We just got the power, literally everything came at once, like the bed, the dryer, and the fridge guys came together and then the power guys. My everything is awesome. Look at that, I'm so excited. I'm hoping I can like maintain this and make this like one of those like goals for just, you know, where everything is like prepped and colorful, you know, like sick. And then, yes. <laughs> Rob's clothes. <laughs> My clothes. Not much of a difference. Not, not at all. I mean, your clothes are in here too. And I have like winter jackets and stuff in here. Okay. It is now 6.40, believe it or not. I haven't seen you guys in a little bit. Um, since we started, Rob has set up his whole game station, which is really exciting. Um, and besides that, absolutely nothing else has gotten done. Um, we ended up going to take the dog for a walk, um, we got some food, and we ended up having some issues with our NBN network or whatever. It just wasn't connecting. Apparently there's some wiring in the house that has, I don't know, doesn't work. So we ended up having to go get another cable. This guy, an Ethernet cable to run from upstairs all the way down here to this computer, um, which is fine. It's fine. It's a temporary fix. It's really ugly in the middle of the house, but like we'll figure it out. We have let our landlord know, so hopefully, 
hopefully we can get that fixed soon. Um, Rob has gone to work and I have just gone to Big W and done a big shop. Um, I actually tried to save as much money as I can and I didn't spend as much as I expected to. Um, and I literally got almost everything that we need remaining for the house. The only thing we need left is a lounge and a microwave, which I'm not overly bothered to get. I don't really want a microwave, but like, you don't really want one until you need one when you're like that. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. You know those times when you end up talking to the camera for like 20 minutes and then you realize that you haven't pressed film. <clears throat> Great job. All this stuff, 90% of it I got from Big W. Um, I spent about $200 total at Big W and then these guys were separate for like $99 at another place. The fact that I got all of this for $2.99 and just these guys alone were normally originally like $400. It's a pretty good deal, I think. Um, and we got literally everything, kettle, toaster, whatever. It's about 7 o'clock now. We still need to set up our bed frame and our bed and then I need to do my wardrobe which is one room but they are two pretty big things. I do have a lot of stuff. Um, those bags of clothing that I showed you before, yes a lot of it is my stuff but it is also like winter jackets and a bunch of other stuff because Rob, fortunately we stayed at his house so he can leave a lot of stuff at his mom's whereas I've been traveling for the last three years so all of my stuff I have to carry around with me. Oh my god, I realized that I just needed to wash everything. Um, I did all of like the cups and the cutlery and the cutting board and then I did these guys just a minute ago. And then you have to wash like all these tongs and these potato peelers. And then I have to do this new knife set. <laughs> So much goes into getting a new house that like you don't even think about until you're in it and you're like, oh my god. guys that's the end of the video uh, stay tuned for the next video in the house series where I will be decorating and making this house more of a home thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time Bye.